Hello. Hi. Welcome to another episode. Another YouTuber is a nonce. <laughs> I'm sick, bruh. I'm sick. No, I'm kidding. Cody Ko, someone I used to watch, I have to admit. I used to enjoy his content. He was like, you know, one of the, the biggest reactors, you know, just put your face cam, sit and do nothing and talk, this, that and the other. I thought that no one could touch this man. A decent human being. How lot of fuck's sake, or are Fuck's sake, Reginald. We all know what we're talking about. Cody Ko, um... Intercourse with a female who was under the age of 18. Now, before we clarify some things, this is Tana Mojo. She's been known to lie. However, I feel like this is serious enough where you've got to actually acknowledge the uh, allegations. I think they are probably true for a couple of reasons. It, she's not the only one who says it. There are other people outside of the, you know, them two who have said that this has happened. He's obviously, you know, a, a, who the fucking dick sucking little hillbilly. <laughs> Mmm. Shut up, bitch. So yeah, Cody Ko, someone I've not watched for many years and takes weird ass selfies like this motherfucker, like, God damn, man, man, why you look like that, dude? You suck like a penis or something? Cody Ko is under fire for hooking up with 17-year-old Tanamo Mongo, Mojo, whatever you want to call it. When she was 17, he was 25. So whatever you think, in England, the age of consent is 16, believe it or not. So it's a little bit different. I know depending what side of Texas you stand on is dependent on a certain age. You know, it can be 16, 17, 18. I don't know. I just find it, it's a bit weird. I think the way I look at things is if a 17-year-old got with an 18-year-old, that's okay. Similar brain developments, you know what I mean? 16-year-old got with an 18-year-old, no, bad, you know what I mean? Like, even if it's legal, I just think your brain develops so much, it's slightly different, you know what I mean? This, that, and the other. But 25 and 17, red flag. Jimmy Savile's type level shit, you know what I mean? That shit is nasty, dog. That shit's stinky, man. Get that shit out of here. What you doing, Cody Co? And well, it's only a matter of time before he obviously has to come out and say something, but I thought I'd get in ahead of the curve and just, you know, have a conversation, because this is just crazy. A man who I thought couldn't be bad, you know, he's like, hey, don't have friends, don't have people you look up to, don't have people who you like, guys, because every time I do, they just come out as a bad dude. Dr. D's just got fucking D- minus because he D... I was going to say tried shoving a D in an underage... Just got arrested. Why are you saying that? They, he, she married Jake Paul. Is that true? Oh. Tanner was Phil shit. So that was Tanacon. I mean, you've got to be pretty absurd to name something called Tanacon. Uh, if you haven't seen, she basically said that he's got a tiny wiener, which not only have you been exposed as a potential, you know, sexual assaulter of a 17-year-old while you're 25, you've also got a tiny wiener. You've been exposed for having a small schlong. Unlucky, dude. Unlucky. Bad day to be you, homie. One of the largest commentary creators on YouTube knowingly committed a crime against her when she was a minor. But YouTubers and viewers alike are ignoring and discrediting these allegations solely because the person making them happens to be an unlikable woman online. Which is a slightly valid point. The reason, um, you know, this woman is not as reliable. This is like, you know, jumping on a boat with 12 holes on it. You're probably going to sink and drown. However, the reason I think this is actually a serious situation and something that definitely did happen is simply because it's not just them two. You know, other people around the circle, I can't remember the names, but, you know, Tanner's friends have all said that they were there. Not obviously when they did that, but when they, you know, when he told... Apparently, one of her friends told her that she was 17 and he was, you know, 25, and he still went ahead with it. If so, get the shotgun. Because nobody is working harder to bury this story than you. And you're getting away with it because commentary YouTube has a serious problem. I can't blame any of your viewers or my viewers for not hearing about this because you've done such a good job hiding it up until now that I only found out about it recently. The situation has been talked about. Not me, baby. I'm standing strong. I'm making this video for the boys. The boys, the boys, the boys. And Tana Mojo. No, I just want to comment on it because Cody Ko is someone I actually used to, you know, watch. And it's just like every day, every single day, fucking AIDS, man. Just someone's just a dirty doobie dada. You know what I mean? Like, they are just so stinky, man. God damn. Get the fuck out of here, motherfucker. These boys stink to high hell. But the reason it hasn't caught on yet, despite all of this, is that none of your friends, nobody on your level, nobody in the commentary niche with enough pull is willing to admit that this situation makes you look 
terrible. A lot of people like him a lot, and they really are like doing any kind of mental yeah. gymnastic to just ignore it. I'm not here to accuse you of committing a crime in this video because I can't do that based on someone else's allegations. Nobody can definitively take these allegations as proof, but at the same time, they should still be looked at and not treated as an open secret and swept under the rug like. See, that's important as well. Um, I didn't hear about this until a couple of days ago, I think, um, when I actually saw the clip of her saying it. I thought that's a bit strange. Now, to me, though, you've got to remember, although the years are weird and quite revolting, let's be honest, what, eight, nine years difference? To me, that's still legal in my country. I think it's gross. I think it's weird as fuck. You know, why would you do that? And how would you feel comfortable? But he didn't break the law you know, in my country. Now, obviously, America is a very different place, different age, depending if you're on the left side or the right side, which doesn't make sense. It should be a fucking universal rule. You know what I mean? If you go to fucking Islam countries and shit like that, they get married at like 12, bruh. 12? Imagine being married at 12, bruh. I couldn't even speak at 12 and say, I do. It's like, nah. I do not, motherfucker, get away from me. Like you've been doing for so many years now. And from the way the situation keeps popping up more and more often, it's clear that there's only so much rug sweeping you can do before people start taking a closer look at things. So let's take a closer look. We both know that Tana Mojo is a YouTube personality with a history of lies, controversy, and genuinely problematic behavior. That's the other problem. I don't actually like Tana. Not because she's a blonde woman who's got a lot of money but simply because I think she's just a nasty woman. I don't think she's done anything in her life that isn't for herself. I think she's very selfish, self-centered. She's only making this come out now, which is why, you know, to say it almost like as a joke about something, someone's size of her, size of his schlong, means she doesn't really give a shit. You know, she doesn't care about what happened, not at all, but then like, now she does. Do you know what I mean? Like, it comes out what? How old is she? Maybe five years later? I don't know how old she is. And then now you suddenly care? Hmm. ...with her brand that her podcast is called Cancelled with Tana Mojo. And speaking of this podcast, about a month ago, she hosted a live episode in front of an audience, and the conversation turned to you. Who's the smallest you've ever had sex with? Oh my god, did no one look at me? Cody Co. I can say that. I was literally 17. I can say that. This clip started making the... Weird. It's not a good clip. It's not a good look, is it, for Cody, man? It's like, oh my god, no one look at me, but Cody go. Oh my god, don't look at me. Too shy, too shy, don't look at me, don't look at me. The rounds and people were understandably perturbed because if Tana Mojo was 17, you would have been 25. So people started speculating and Tana decided to set the record straight. I hooked up with Cody Co when I was 17 and he was 25. She claims that not only were you fully aware of her age at the time, but someone even tried to stop you and you went ahead anyway. There was a situation with Gabby Hanna at a playlist live where she pulled him aside and told him like, yo, she's 17. And then we still went and hooked up. To be clear, 17 is under the age of consent in many states, including Florida, where playlist live used to take place. So this means that Tana Mojo is accusing you of statutory rape and she's not trying to hide that this isn't just some crazy which is a very serious matter obviously statutory rape um i don't need to tell you what it is you know just she should be going to the police, surely? Nothing would make this situation better, but plenty of things make it worse. Like the fact that she was a fan of yours at the time, adding an additional layer to the power dynamic you would have had over her. I grew up loving him and I think I, you know what I mean? Like yeah. I was just like excited and a fan. Tana seems to have many feelings about this, which we'll go over a bit later, but she stated very clearly that the actions she's accusing you of are inexcusable. If I had a 17 year old daughter mm. or a little sister or something, like I would kill. I would never let it fly. These recent allegations are bad enough on their own, but there are a couple of things that make them worse still. Things that many people don't know yet, but you do. You know that Tana has been making this same specific claim against you for years now. Here she is back in 2021 saying the same thing. I was 17 at the time, 18. I started kind of hooking up with other people. Shout out JC Kalen, shout out Cody Co. But what lends the most credibility to Tana's claims and what is... Shout out to the homies that I hooked up back in the day. Yeah, I loved, uh, I loved sloshing your booty even if you were 12 years older than me it was great fun oh my god it was amazing i loved it damning thing for you cody is a clip that you might not have even seen yet see i read the rolling stone article i watched the youtube videos about this and they all missed something and i understand why 
The clip I'm about to show you is extremely hard to find. The original has been lost to time, and it's a wonder we have this on video at all. But if there was anything to give me any more clarity about these allegations before I formed my opinion, I was going to find it. Remember how Tana said that fellow YouTuber Gabby Hanna tried to stop you before everything allegedly went down? Well, did you know that Gabby is actually on record telling the exact same story several years ago? One time, I told a guy, I saw him making out with a girl at a party yeah. who was underage, and I pulled him aside and I was like, hey man, you probably don't know, I know she like looks a little older, she's underage, watch it. And he's like, oh my god, thank you for telling me. And then he turned that... God, it's not looking good for her. this guy right here, is it? He's sink. His ship is sinking fast. He is drowning, and I don't think anyone's going to give him a handout, boys and girls. Another day, another dime. Another day and another goner. He is just going to be absolutely ruined now, and rightly so, if so true. Um, I think if we if we just remove ourselves that it's Tanner, um, I think this is disgusting in terms of, like, you know, yeah, he broke the law, but 25 and 17... You know what I mean? Very different age groups here. I'm 20. One. Two. Seven, my 17-year-old brain was like scrambled eggs, bro. That shit was runny as fuck. Now, slightly boiled. Needs a bit of extra seasoning. But I'm a completely different shroom to where I was back then. And I'm sure you are now. And I think poor Cody... Not poor Cody. Fuck Cody. But Cody is going to be... Um, well, it's going to be young, dumb, and done for him, let's put it like that. So I just wanted to say, you know, everything we spoke about here is obviously accusations. There is no proof in the pudding yet, but I feel the, the stories, the evidence is just too high, too high to, uh, well, to say that's not true. Uh, basically, to confirm that Gabby Hanna made a, um, you know, told... Cody that she was 17 he continued to do it and you know do the dirty the age of consent in Florida was 18 so he broke the law if you're older than 24 uh, it counts as statutory statutory rape very serious allegations one I don't think he will be able to sh to uh, shake I think he's probably gonna hire some very good lawyers right now and try and make an apology or some sort of don't worry, we will rate it out of 10, like we do with all crap YouTube apologies. Yeah, not a great day, is it, homies? Not a great day. Um, another day, another day. I just want to thank you all. Cody Co. is a weirdo. And, um, well, how old is he now? 33, 33. Damn. I bet he thought he got away with it too, didn't he? As well, fucking hell! Look at his, look at his. No, no wonder he did not use his parents' last name. How the fuck do you say that? Cody Codlodgerick. That wouldn't fly, would it? You wouldn't become a YouTuber looking like with that fucking name. <laughs> anyway, guys, goodbye.